Hey everybody, AJ here. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my top five tips to be more productive using the Surface Pro and the Surface Pen. It's now 2021 and I figured I'd give you some tips to make sure that you're as productive as you can be throughout the year. The device we're gonna to use today is my Surface Pro X and we're gonna be using it with the Surface Slim Pen. The Surface Slim Pen has over 4,000 points of pressure, has tilt sensitivity to it. I drop it into the keyboard and it hides away and charges magnetically. But tech specs aside, I use the Surface Pro X and the Surface Slim Pen because the Surface Slim Pen just feels great in my hand. It's really, really responsive on the screen and I love that it hides away into the keyboard, it magnetically charges and when I need it, it's always there. So tip number one or numero uno as they say is the Microsoft Whiteboard app. I love, love, love the Microsoft Whiteboard app. It's such a simple yet powerful tool that I use it every single time I can. So what I like to do, whether I'm starting a new project, a new quarter, or now that we're starting a new year, I love to mind map and brainstorm out what success looks like to me with that project. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna open up my hamburger menu app. I'm gonna have the ink to shape option turned on, and I'm gonna write, let's get some YouTube goals in here. Let's grab a red one and let's go YouTube. And you can see how nice and neat and easy it is to write on the whiteboard app here. If I press the button on the Surface Pen, I can circle this, I can use the Beautify tool, and that uses Microsoft's AI to convert my messy handwriting into much neater, legible looking handwriting. I can simply select on it, move it around the page, grab out a different color, circle around, and again, that ink beautification tool and the Microsoft's AI of converting ink to shape is gonna make sure my rough circle looks really nice and neat. I'm gonna zoom out because it is an infinite canvas here. And then I'm gonna grab the ruler and let's actually make, you can see here it says 45 degrees. So you can actually choose the angle and the degree that you want your, your ruler to sit at. Let's grab a different color here. I've got all these cool color options. Let's actually grab this galaxy and let's just make some lines across here. Spin the ruler around nice and easy. Let's go to 45 degrees again. This is looking a little bit like an alien. Let's tap on that ruler, get rid of it, grab another pen, zoom in, nice and easy to finger pinch zooming in. And the first goal I wanna set is to get a thousand subscribers. Again, select the lasso, circle around, use that ink beautification tool and convert that ink to text. I'm not gonna to go too in depth with the Microsoft Whiteboard app in this video, but I will put a link in the description down below to where we go through all the features and functions of the Microsoft Whiteboard app. But the first app to be more productive with your Surface Pen has to be the Microsoft Whiteboard app because like I said, it's really simple, it's easy, and it's super, super powerful. The second app that we're gonna look at, or the second function that we're gonna look at is annotating, marking up, and signing PDF documents. So I'm gonna hit the start button. I'm gonna find my app called Drawboard PDF. This is my favorite app for annotating and marking out PDF documents. When I was at university, I would have a stack of paper that I'd print out, mark up, annotate, and at the end of semester, I'd throw it out. Being able to grab documents, PDF documents, anything that was physical, and being able to annotate on it in a digital fashion means that I can extend the way I interact with these documents. Whether it's doing something simple, like grabbing the text highlighter, zooming in on that document and doing a very neat highlight of that document. The computer knows that we're doing a text highlight, so it does a perfect highlight as if we did it with the keyboard and mouse, but it gives us a natural interaction of using the pen. Or we could grab another pen here, a different color, zoom out, maybe we wanna change the name first, please Beetle, and the note here is gonna be changing the name. You can see we're interacting with the document just like we would on a regular piece of paper, but then we can extend what we're doing because it's a digital document. Drawable PDF has a different range of tools that allow you to annotate over this document. One of my favorite ones is this red cloud here, which allows me to very easily and neatly really make a highlight over this document here. If I go into the advanced setting options, you can see that under the draw tab, I have a range of different options here. So I'm marking up, I'm annotating, and I'm editing all over this PDF document. But the beautiful thing about it is that I'm not wasting any ink and I'm not wasting any paper. Everything I'm doing is digital, so I can access it on any device. I can share it with people. 
and I'm going to always have a digital record of it. The last thing I want to show you on Drawboard PDF is the ability to sign on the document. So I'm going to grab out a control rule again. I'm going to go into our insert option and then I'm going to go insert signature. And how often have you needed to sign a document? I'm simply going to tap on anywhere I want to sign. I'm going to go new signature. I'm going to add in my name. Hit insert and you see it's embedded my signature into the document. Again, there's a few different apps out there that allow you to do PDF annotation in Windows 10. So I'll put a link in the description down below where I take you through the tips, the tricks, the pros and the cons of a lot of these apps. But the big takeaway here for tip number two is marking up, annotating, editing and signing documents using digital ink. The third tip I want to give you to be really productive with your Surface Pen is actually how to quickly grab and annotate over a screenshot. So the back of the Surface Pen is actually a button which you can program to do different things. If I press it once, I've got it set to launch the whiteboard app. If I double tap it, it will actually perform a screen snip and this will launch us into the snip and sketch option. And this is where I can use the pen to mark up and annotate quickly all over anything that was on my screen. You can see at the top here, we have a few different options of different pens, different pencils, highlighters, erasers, the ruler and the crop option. And on the right hand side, we have the option for magnification. To save that screenshot that we've taken, to copy it or to share it. So say I wanted to quickly grab a screenshot of what was on my screen, annotate over it. So I'm gonna grab a pen here. Let's actually go for red, let's go for orange. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And maybe I wanted to tell people what was happening on my desktop. I could say this is OBS, change the color, let's grab white. Let's say this is our PDF. Annotator. And if I grab the highlighter, we can do a highlight down the bottom to show that we are using an evaluation copy or an insider build of Windows 10. So whatever you're doing, it's gonna quickly allow you to grab a screenshot, annotate over the screen, and then send it off to someone. The two things I usually end up doing is either saving it and adding this document into say something like a workflow, or copying the document after I've marked up over it quickly, pasting it into an email and sending it off to somebody. But tip number three is how to quickly grab a screenshot and annotate all over it. Tip number four is using Microsoft OneNote with the Surface Pen. If you've used OneNote before, you know how powerful the tool is and combining it with the Surface Pro and the Surface Pen just makes it even more powerful. We're gonna use the Windows app and not the Office 2016 version. You see here we have a blank canvas in front of us. The first thing I recommend to always do is go into the view section, select on the ruled lines and add some ruled lines to your screen because it just makes it so much easier when you're taking notes. The second thing is going back to the draw section, zooming in and adding a title. The title we're gonna add here is top five pen tips. OneNote has amazing indexing and handwriting recognition inside of it, so that if you wanna recall this page later, it could be a week, a month, a year, two years from now, if you use the search option and you type in top five pen tips, it will actually recognize and bring up the search options, even for handwritten text and not just things you've typed in with your keyboard and your mouse. So on the draw section here, I'm actually gonna go into, let's stay with this pen here, and I'm gonna say this is a Surface Pro. Using the button again on the Surface Pen, I'm gonna circle around and use my lasso here to select my text. And under the draw option on the right hand side, we have the option of ink to text. This is such a powerful tool because if you're taking notes in a meeting um, and you wanna share those notes with other people, maybe you can recognize and read your own handwriting, but a lot of other people would probably struggle to understand your handwriting. Being able to convert your ink to text and have it in such a neat and legible format means you can easily share your notes, but of course it doesn't stop there with OneNote. You can see here you have a range of different colors to choose from. There's an eraser or we can use the back of the pen to rub out anything that we have written. You've got so many diff different colors to pick and you also have this shape option so that if you are in a meeting and you're taking down notes and if you wanna add a bit more than just handwritten notes, you can drop down this shapes option and maybe you're actually creating a flow chart and just brainstorming out a flow chart. You can add in these rulers here. If we grab the shape again, you can add in a square. Or 
If you want to turn on the ink to shape option, again in the top right hand corner, you can actually draw these shapes out and Microsoft's AI is going to convert into much neater looking shapes. OneNote is such a powerful, powerful tool. The way I use it with the Surface Pen is mainly to take notes in meetings and it also makes your meetings a lot more personal. Instead of being stuck behind the keyboard and a mouse typing away, being able to drop your computer down, grab the pen and actually start writing away. It means you can stay more engaged. You're gonna have better eye contact with the people in the room. And it's also proven that using a pen and paper or a digital pen and paper activates the creative part of your brain so that instead of just rote taking out notes using a keyboard and your mouse, as you're writing and doodling things out on your screen here, your brain is actually connecting with the content and thinking in a more creative way to the problems you're trying to solve. The last tip I wanna give you is how you can use your Surface Pen to make your presentations a lot more engaging. So using PowerPoint here, I'm actually gonna open into slideshow mode. You see on the monitor here that my slideshow is presenting and you see on my Surface Pro here that we're actually in the presenter view. Down the bottom here, you actually have a pen and laser pointing tool option. We're gonna to select on that and we can either choose to use a laser pointer, which is gonna help us highlight things on the screen here. So it means that if we wanna draw our audience's attention to say the single core performance or to this sign that says R23, you can use the pen to draw their eyes to this section here. You can press the pen to scroll through your slides. So you could have the slides being presented behind you and you can, instead of being stuck on the podium, you can be using your pen to scroll through your slides. If we drop down that pen option, so moving on to the next slide, maybe instead of using the laser pointer, you want to actually drop the option down and grab a pen. Let's change the color there and let's actually grab a red pen out because you don't just want to point to something, but you want to actually show this versus this. Again, being able to write, draw, and mark up your presentation while you're presenting allows you to be a lot more impactful and a lot more engaging with your audience. Let's just drop to that last slide again by pressing the button on the Surface Pen, dropping down our options here and grabbing the highlighter. Maybe now I want to highlight something important to them, such as the processes that we're looking at, or it could be the performance of the GPU. Again, being able to naturally interact with the content means that you can add another dimension to your presentations, keep your viewers more engaged and overall be a much better presenter because you're using the pen to better engage with your audience. So there you have it. Those are my top five tips to being even more productive using the Surface Pro and the Surface Pen. I hope you guys found them enjoyable. If you have any other tips, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, happy creating, and I'll see you next time. Bye.